Lakers' biggest concern about Dalton Necht after Summer League. Can Dalton Necht overcome his flaws? The offseason hasn't been as eventful for the Los Angeles Lakers as many fans had hoped. The team has been relatively quiet in free agency, despite being in the middle of the Western Conference pack. However, the standout moment of the offseason, aside from the polarizing coverage of Bronny James, was the drafting of Dalton Necht from Tennessee. Necht is considered one of the steals of the 2024 NBA draft, falling to the 17th pick despite being projected as a lottery selection. He joins a team coached by one of the greatest shooters in NBA history, and his skill set fills a crucial need for floor spacing around the Lakers stars, LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Next summer league performance provided plenty of excitement for fans. Standing at 6'6 and weighing 213 pounds, the Fargo, North Dakota native led all rookies in points per game, averaging 21.3. He showcased his shooting prowess, hitting 39.1% from three-point range, although his overall field goal percentage was 41.8%. While fans hoped to see him shooting over 50%, Neck displayed confidence in his driving and long-range shooting, indicating he can adapt to NBA range without significant issues. Despite his offensive talents, there are concerns about Neck's overall game. His defensive abilities were a significant factor in his draft position drop, as he was criticized for being a poor defender. In the modern NBA, teams seek two-way players who can contribute both offensively and defensively, especially in playoff situations. The role of a one-dimensional shooter has diminished, as seen in the case of Malik Beasley, who had to settle for a veteran minimum deal with the Bucks and later signed a one-year, $6 million contract with the Detroit Pistons after a solid season in Milwaukee. The question now is whether Necht can develop into a more complete player, improving his defense, passing, and rebounding. Head coach J.J. Redick is optimistic about Necht's potential and is working closely with him to round out his game. Redick, an all-time great shooter himself, understands the importance of being a two-way player in today's NBA. The Lakers need Dalton Neck to be a two-way player, Reddick said during an ESPN broadcast. We know he can shoot the ball. I spent 30 minutes with him yesterday on the court after practice with live defense, going through some actions, and just working with him on creating separation. He shot pretty darn well. I know he can shoot it, Reddick continued. It's the other parts of his game, the defense the rebounding, the passing, just the feel of the game that I have also been impressed with. Obviously, we know in the NBA you have to be a two-way player to make an impact, and defensively he's got to improve like any rookie. At 23, Necht is older than many rookies, which could mean he is more developed in certain areas. However, considering his one-dimensional game was a key reason for his draft slide, expectations should be tempered. While he has the potential to contribute immediately, Necht may need time to reach the level of an Austin Reeves-type player, making him a bit of a project for Reddick and the coaching staff to develop fully.